I took the part because Mary Ann Faithful was on a trip uh, with her guru in India, so I got the part instead of her. I auditioned and uh, I sang a really uh, 1930s type song. I knew it was a rock and roll thing and I couldn't sing rock and roll things. So I sang a 30s song by a woman called Jessie Matthews, called over my shoulder for the songs. So these guys who were interviewing me, they really thought I was most peculiar. And Richard sang to me science fiction. It came from outer space and this is how the message ran. And I thought, that's the most wonderful song I've ever heard. I mean, it was wonderful. So I went bouncing down the road and thought, I've got to be in this because this song sounded so fantastic. And my agent said to me, uh, well, just a minute, just a minute, you'll be singing that song, but maybe it's only a four-line part. I mean, you don't know, you haven't read the script yet. So you must go down to the Royal Court Theatre this evening, pick up the script. I went down to the Royal Court Theatre, picked up the script. Yeah. There was the song, and Magenta was four lines. You're lucky. He's lucky. I'm lucky. We're all lucky. <laughs> I said, I don't give a shit. I'm going to do it, because it's the best song I ever heard. It did every uh, cliché in the book about every B-movie. And I think even unbeknown to people who haven't even seen those B-movies, it clicks as a cliché thing, you know? Who could have imagined that? I couldn't. But all I know is, when I first went to see the film in London with Little Nell, I was a total fan of the film. The audience at the time weren't. They also know the show was so much better. But she and I sat together and we yelled and screamed like everyone else does all the time. It's the most joyous thing to do and I think it's given immense pleasure to lots of people. It's given me a lot of pleasure. I think I'll be doing the time walk when I'm 90.